Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. A swimming pool is filled by means of three faucets. When the first and the second faucets are on, filling up the pool lasts 20 hours. When the first and the third are on, it takes 15 hours to fill the pool. And when the second and the third are on, only 12 hours. How long will it take to fill the pool when all three faucets are on? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now let's solve this problem together. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods in order to solve this problem. The first method is more concrete, catered to those students who are just learning algebra and are more visual learners. And the second one is more abstract, using algebraic equations. So here's the first method. Let's create a table. We list it down, A plus B to represent the number of hours that faucets A and B work together. A and C is the number of hours that faucets A and C work together. And B plus C represents the number of hours that faucets B and C work together. Now, if you get the common multiple of 20, 12, and 15, the least common multiple is 60. So in this graph, let's first look at the work that can be done by these three faucets all working together for 60 hours. 60 because that is the first time when all these three combinations will line up here after 60 hours. So for combinations faucets A and B, they work for the first 20 hours this much, then another 20 hours, and another 20 hours. So that means if faucets A and B work together for 60 hours, they can fill three volumes of this pool. For A and C, they can fill one volume of pool in 15 hours, another 15, another 15. After 60 hours, faucets A and C can fill four volumes of this pool. For B and C, it will take 12 hours to fill one pool and then continue working until 60 hours. Faucets B and C can fill five volumes of water of this pool. Take note here that faucet A works double shift as well as faucet B and faucet C. All of these three faucets work double shifts in our representation. So our result says that when all these faucets work together double shift for 60 hours, they can fill 12 volumes of water of this pool. And since we are after the amount of work that these three faucets can work, not double shift but in a single shift, that means this 60 hours should be longer because if it takes them 60 hours to work double shift, if they are only working single shift, then we have to double this 60 hours to 120 working hours in order to fill 12 volumes of this pool. So from here, it's clear that if it takes 120 hours working together for these three faucets to fill 12 volumes of water for this pool, then 120 divided by 12 represents the number of hours that these three faucets need in order to fill one volume of water for this pool. So 10 hours for one pool. And so our answer therefore is, it will take 10 hours for the three faucets working together to fill the pool. Now here's the second method. So algebraically we represent it this way. For these faucets A and B, the amount of work done by faucet A in one hour plus the part of the job done by faucet B in one hour is equal to the part of the job done by both of these two faucets in 20 hours. Notice that if we multiply this by 20 hours, then faucets A and B will be able to do one complete job represented by this right side. And the left side says it takes 20 hours for faucet A and faucet B working together to complete one job. This is a very important form because we are going to use this to interpret the equation that we are going to use later on. Let's look at the work done by faucets A and C. 1 over A plus 1 over C is equal to 1 over 15. Explanation is similar to the first one. Then for faucets B and C, this is our representation. 1 over B plus 1 over C equals 1 over 12. Next, Let's line up together all like terms so we can easily see which terms are to be added. Then let's add each column. 1 over A plus 1 over A is 2 over A. 
1 over b plus 1 over b is 2 over b. 1 over c plus 1 over c is 2 over c. 1 over 20 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 12 in lowest term is equal to 1 over 5. There is a common factor here of 2, so let's factor that 2 out of the expression at the left to arrive at this. Then let's focus our attention now to this last equation. Now, let's write this in this form so that we can easily see the relationship of the fractions. So, how do we simplify this? We can divide both sides of the equation by 2, this way, and then simplifying the right side, that becomes 1 over 10. Now, to have one complete job at the right, we multiply both sides of the equation by 10, and simplifying the right side, we have one at the right side, and we just copy the left side. Now, this is now the form that we are going to interpret. What does this mean? This means the part of the job done by faucet A plus the part of the job done by faucet B plus the part of the job done by faucet C in 10 hours is equal to one complete job. And the job is filling the pool with one volume of water. So clearly from this equation, we now say that the three faucets working together using their respective rates, would need 10 hours to complete one job. And so the final answer is, therefore, 10 hours. The three faucets need 10 hours working together to complete one job. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.